Hello guys, and welcome back to another session of the Outer Worlds. Thanks for joining me once again. So, if you like what I'm doing, just please hit the like button. If you want to see other videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. Let's get back into it. Alright, Felix, we get rid of you. Your max. Let's roll out. Alright, and now... I don't talk to this guy. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. That's very generous of you. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Noted. But not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? Me? I'm charting my own path. Going where the wind takes me. What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. Hey, you'd always be here for both. Now, now, there's no need to humor me. I'm used to this particular letdown. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. If you're uh, free of the other corporations, why would you want to bring them back? Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Thanks to the so-called Hazard Clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. So-called is right. We've got our hazards, but we're still here, damn it. The board took off without so much as a thought for the folks left behind. Something to be said for perseverance. I endeavor to persevere myself. Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Sounds like you're freer than anyone else on Halcyon. Why not embrace it? You talk like Graham. Freedom always sounds nice, doesn't it? It makes a rather pretty slogan. But if you sit down and tally up the costs, how you provide for yourself in the absence of aid, how you protect yourself from a hostile galaxy, it starts to lose its shine. Exactly. Intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future, but the tracks the train runs on are forged from practicality. I don't know what intellectualism means, but if someone's willing to build us a few practical things around here, I ain't gonna judge them on account of their beliefs. Yes, it's as though the good vicar has plucked the very words from my brain. So, what do you mean to do about it? Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. A lot of good that'll do. 
I'll just find another reason to turn tail and abandon you. Not if we secure the proper safeguards first. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. This lady knows what's going on. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. You do seem to have a bit of a Raptodon problem. And a Mantisaur problem, and a Marauder problem. Many, many problems, but they can all be solved with a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Hmm. This Bolt 52 sounds useful. What is it? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Once you have the Bolt 52, what's the other part of your plan? I'll need to gather some supplemental materials, but I mustn't get ahead of myself. You do tend to do that. The Bolt 52 will be in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. And these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. See what I can find. So taciturn, so dour. I'll be waiting with bated breath. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Before I go, I need to ask you about something. What can I do for you? I need MSI to stop broadcasting. You're jamming Devil's Peak Station. You think we're the problem? Have you even heard the nonsense Graham is spewing? Unfortunately, it's hard to have not heard it around these parts. It isn't easy keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. We need that frequency to reach our trading partners. Must be another way for you to get business. Indeed. That's why it's imperative that MSI be reinstated onto the board. And the first step is getting the Bolt 52. All right, I've got to go. Uh, okay, so let's get them what they need. Help! Someone's been killed! What? Are you alright? No! I just stepped in a dead man's blood. And I think one of the flies landed on my mouth. If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Alright, good to know. I'm not going in, <laughs> into the apartments. Good old Stellar Bay. The only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. On account of it stinking like fish instead. Alright, Vicar. Let's look at some armor for your face. to breathe through your nose.
Ah, okay. Okay. That was bracing. Careful. Only things you'll find in the ruins are liable to shoot you or eat you. Or both. I believe this place has seen better days. I wonder what secrets these ruins contain. Don't bother knocking on any doors. If anyone's inside, they're liable to respond with gunfire.
Oh, this is the building. Let's see if there's another way in. We got trouble. There we go. I think we found our way up, fellas and lady. Okay, ow. Ow, ow. Oh, hello? Hello? I hear boots out there. Wait, can rats wear boots? I don't think they figured out that out yet. Who are you? Got locked in, how? It's easier than it sounds, all right? Next time you get chased by raptodons, you let me know the rationality of your decisions. Well, I need to get into that room. Phew. Thanks, mister. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. So look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. Maybe it's in a rat belly. Gross. There must be a way to open it from the inside. What do you mean? It's locked. Fine. Let's try something else. Get me out of here! You know, t I'll take a look around. Okay. Sanjir has a bad habit of padding his reports with numbers and statistics, not very good with slogans, jingles, and or taglines. Presentations tend to be dry and lacking in emotional appeal and funny references. Sanjir also displays a noted tendency to complete work rather than delegating it, a trend unbecoming in upper management.
Oh no, Sundier work habits suggest a preoccupation with details and a startling lack of vision. We cannot recommend him for further advancement. Neat improvement in the following areas. Interpersonal communication, brevity, delegation, idea generation. Executive Review, Bryant Graham. Okay. Graham's understanding of product, messaging, and branding is impressive, especially for a relatively low-level editor. Has a knack for memorable slogans and taglines. However, Graham has issues with brevity and shows consistent disregard for prescribed front formats. Some of his work has been flagged for subversive undertones. Recommended for further supervision. Door shows a real knack for brief but compelling presentation supported by catchy slogans. Okay. Delegation skills are also top notch. She can build a lengthy meeting around any topic and emerge with plenty of work assigned. Recommended for promotion. Okay. Those three should work together. Then this place will get up and popping. Okay, Tim Buck says it's the big one. I needed the key. I don't need to kill all of them. Apparently, I do need to kill all of them.
thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Mioka. Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm... Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. You sure you're okay to travel? Oh, sure. I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... Hey, who's your identical, slightly blurry friend? Good luck. Thanks a lot, mister. I got the bolt for this guy. Careful. Only things you'll find in the ruins are liable to shoot you or eat you. Or both. I believe this place has seen better days. It's all good. What could possibly go wrong? Hold on to your hats, children. This ride is about to get ugly. You'll get used to it. Give it 10 or 15 years. <laughs> Is it true that Manta Queens devour their mates after copulation? Yeah. Well, sort of. They kill them, but they leave the body till their swarm hatches and eats it. The first meal is their father. Yeah. Makes one appreciative he wasn't born a Mentasaur. Slimy man like you might fit in just fine. Sir, please stop. Forgive me, Celia. I couldn't help myself. Anyway? What can I do for you? I found your review on the terminal in the arms building. You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. Sorry, it was already open. Oh, yes. No doubt someone else was having a laugh at my expense before you. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years. I was a joke to them. You left kidney. Uh, one of the executives required a transplant. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. Did it? Apparently not. Who cares what they think? You're in charge now. In charge of a scrap heap of a city. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. And you made it work. That's more than anyone can say for those execs. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Was there something else? Yeah, I got your Bolt 52. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. How exactly is data cartridge going to help? What a question! 
Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. So you do want to go against the board. Don't be ridiculous. What Mr. Nandi means is that we have some rather momentous information to deliver to the board. Or we will, with your help. This had better be good. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. Those bastards. Leave us to our perils, then come back just to reap what they can. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to... Encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. What does that mean for me? If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. Sounds like you know her well enough yourself. That's part of the problem. She has certain ambitions for Stellar Bay, and I fear my asking her would give her the leverage she's been looking for. Don't get yourself worked up, sir. It's perfectly natural to have a healthy fear of her. We really don't need to discuss this now, Celia. So go to Fallbrook and get the location of an illegal corporation facility, then... then? Once you, uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. <laughs> Infiltrate a secret corporate base and kidnap the staff, sure. Easy. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you.